Hey there! You're still watching Automotive Territory, but today we're gonna talk about electric skateboards. Right about when the original boosted board came out, the market of electric boards exploded with plenty of new models popping out here and there. The major design that manufacturers focused on was the longboard, since it allowed for more comfortable and speedy rides on the city streets. However, pretty soon it became evident that this construction had a major downside. Longboards are heavy and are too long to be carried around. That is why today we're witnessing a new market trend of compact electrified skateboards. These models are affordable, more maneuverable, shorter, lighter and at times can fit into a backpack. In today's episode, we'll take a look at the small boards that in our opinion are the most interesting and fun. Before we get to the lineup, be sure to become our subscriber if you haven't already. Enjoy the ride! Bolt Motion Weighing only 9 pounds and barely reaching 23 inches in length, the tiny Italian built electric skateboard can fit any backpack while still being able to cover the last mile of your daily trip with power and fun. The engineers went for the belt drive system over the hub motors with an intent to multiply torque and tackle steeper hills. The resulting performance equals to 18.5 mph top speed on par with city bicycles. Bolt's FOC electric speed controller guarantees smooth and powerful acceleration, while regenerative braking can add up extra miles to the already satisfactory 8.5 miles range. The eBoard is smartphone compatible via a Bluetooth and has applications for iOS and Android that will tell you everything about your Bolt. For unexperienced riders, there is a special beginner mode that limits top speed and acceleration. Atom B10 this electric board from Colorado is built to last. It combines quality materials with modern battery technology, regenerative braking and advanced software. The board is perfect for city commuters. It is light, compact and has a carry handle, so you can grab it and hop on a bus. It is also easy to maneuver due to a low center of gravity. Atom B10 does not lack power. While carrying a 150-pound rider, it can climb 20% high hills and develop the max speed of 16 miles per hour. Such abilities are ensured by a 1000 watt brushless motor that is powered by the highest quality 90 watt hour lithium ion batteries from the leading manufacturers Samsung, LG and Panasonic. For more comfortable ride, the board features remote wireless control, battery indicator and superior custom speed control system. Acton Blink S and S2 Electric boards from Acton are a perfect balance of durability, rideability and affordability. The company currently offers three small boards, including Light, S1 and S2. Even though Light is the smallest one, its humble specs are mostly appropriate for children, so we chose to review the S models. Both are built using premium materials like Canadian maple, and the only difference between the two is the use of an extra motor and a larger battery on the S2. The powertrain is represented by one or two hub motors with a total output of 600 to 1000 watts. Acton is rather compact, weighing 10 to 12 pounds, but at the same time powerful enough to climb 15 to 20 percent gradient hills and speed up to 18 miles per hour while carrying a 250 pounds max load. Blink is equipped with signature LED safety lighting that will allow you to ride at night without the fear to lose a wheel in a pothole. Linky. Before you say anything, just a quick note, we are aware that technically this is a longboard. However, it's one of a kind folding technology. It does make Linky one of the smallest electric skateboards on the market, at least when you carry it around. This Italian vehicle was developed by a group of Italian entrepreneurs. It weighs almost 11 pounds and is made of high strength polymer combined with a deck consisting of carbon fiber on the bottom and bamboo on the top. The board is brought into motion by a brushless permanent magnet motor, which drives the front wheels. Performance parameters include 19 mph top speed, 11 miles range, regenerative braking and waterproof construction. All in all, a pretty interesting option if you want your e-board to fit in a backpack. Quick Wheel Serpent C The Serpent C series electric skateboard from Quick Wheel is among the smallest and lightest last mile transportation vehicles there is. The manufacturer used Canadian maple wood and bamboo composite to build the thing, and the final weight shown on the scales is short of 7 pounds. 
The bearing is made of heat-treated medium carbon steel to make it non-deformable and firmer. The Serpent C is IP54 water resistant, so you can use it under various weather conditions. And to personalize it for your own tastes, it comes with replaceable PU wheels and lots of stickers. Importantly, the remote control for this tiny board is pressure sensitive. The harder you push, the faster it goes, rather than giving all the power at the press of a button. This feature makes Quick Wheel beginner friendly, as well as allows for experimenting with various riding styles. Go Ride Among many Indiegogo funded projects, Go Ride Tag definitely stands out. It offers versatile products with unique design and unparalleled portability. The series includes four models, differing in shape, size, price and power. All of them have lightweight but sturdy aluminum body, regenerative braking and 20 miles of range. The standard model starts from $599 and is a 20-inch e-board that weighs 12 pounds, has a 10-degree climb and a 12 mph top speed. The board also has an unexpected deck form that makes riding more intuitive and simple. More capable pro options with 20 mph speed, 20% climb and 280 pounds max rider weight are available in both classic and bone-like style. Both will have you shed out additional couple of hundred bucks, but luckily still remain under $1000. If you add another 49 bucks, you will be able to get a customized backpack that will fit your board, remote control, laptop and the rest of much needed everyday stuff. Are you planning on buying an affordable electric skateboard? Just an FYI, some of these models are available on Amazon. And if you were to make your purchase through our referral links in the description to this video, you will be supporting our channel big time. But as always, do not forget to conduct additional research of your own. Let's keep rolling. Lou Electric Lou is a downsized electric skateboard from SoFlow Company that, unlike many startups, was successfully funded through Kickstarter to become a well-known product on the market. Its major difference from competitors is reduced length of 25 inches, lightweight and affordable price starting at $450. The board has three trims, 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0, with higher-end modifications featuring carbon fiber deck, dual motors and longer range. Regardless of the small size, it boasts of 17 to 22 miles per hour top speed and will take you on a 10 to 15 miles ride. Moreover, when the battery runs out, it could be ridden like a regular skateboard. All the components like battery, deck plate and wheels are easily swappable and you will be able to get 100% of your money worth until Lou falls into pieces. Spectra Spectra was originally funded via an Indiegogo campaign but it is currently being independently sold on the Walnut Tech Manufacturer's website and under the Swagtron brand on Amazon. It comes in four modifications – Mini, Advanced, Pro and Silver. Spectra has compact dimensions with 23 inches in length and the weight of 11 to 19 pounds, depending on the trim. The Silver model can speed up to 23 miles per hour and will carry you for 20 miles. However, there is a grain of salt in Spectra. Multiple reviews of owners and experts highlight that this board is very hard to control. The intuitive pressure sensing writing is not working, and using your smartphone as a remote is definitely inconvenient. So even though Spectra has futuristic specs on paper and good looks, you might want to think twice before getting this board. Leaf Board Created by a team of smart transportation enthusiasts based in Hong Kong, LeafBoard Wooden Special Collection offers lightweight remote-controlled electric boards that are performed using natural wood, fiberglass and carbon fiber. Leaf boards weigh 9.7 pounds and are quite compact. The length is only 25 inches and the width is 9.5. You can easily carry one around or even fit it in the back of your car. All the boards are equipped with 1800 watt motors, providing enough power to conquer small hills and a 120 watt hour lithium polymer battery that is good for 11.5 miles of travel. It has three speed modes and is great for users with no previous boarding experience as well as for skillful riders. However, be careful as the top speed may be faster than you expected, reaching 19 mph for a 161 pound rider. And of course, once the battery is drained, 
leaf board can be pushed as any other non-electric skateboard. Boosted Board Mini The boosted board is definitely a benchmark of electrified boards, a Tesla of e-skateboarding if you wish. However, its major downside is the steep price of $1600. To make it affordable to the wider public, the company developed a shorter 29.5 inches version called Boosted Board Mini, which comes in two modifications, S and X, with the basic difference being the range 7 and 14 miles respectively. Since this is a shorter board, there is no wide gap that lets the deck flex and provide all the dampening for the ride. However, the trucks are now a little looser and you can use your rear foot as a suspension. The concave shape and a sloping curve to the middle help you know where to place your feet intuitively, plus sharp turns have become possible. The powerful dual motor belt drive allows the board to tackle 20% great hills and go as fast as 18 miles per hour. And a little bonus. Electric boards from Mipo. We also would like to tell you about a small but fast-growing manufacturer Mipo Boards. Their smaller skateboards Mipo Campus and Mipo Board Short Deck are getting pretty strong reviews and are definitely worth consideration. So don't mind us for only reserving a bonus spot for Mipo Boards on our list. If you like them, you should definitely follow the link in the description to learn more information about them. Do you think that shorter boards are superior than the long boards? Or maybe both styles are perfect for various applications? Share with us in the comments which model is your favorite. And remember to follow the links in the description if you make up your mind about buying one of these. Watch other episodes suggested on the screen. Subscribe and share with fellow electric vehicle fans. May the torque be with you!